know about these now. Releasing all these parasites from her body, mind, spirit, energy system. For the people watching this video, I haven't had to recommend anyone take any supplements in probably the last year, except Janice. <laughs> <laughs> so, I I learned I learned to download everything from the from the matrix field because it seemed to work faster but I've asked your body if I can download whatever needs to clear it out your body says no you actually need the supplement so we're just gonna let you do it what's working for you already um, it's gonna work uh, my name is Janice is there something else we can do about this yeah does this belong to her yeah she has some trapped emotions too so that's why I open up both charts here because I can go right to the trapped emotions right away and her body's saying it's conflict do we need to know anything more about this trapped emotion of conflict yeah she got it from her mom did her mom inherit it? Yeah. Did her mom inherit it from her mom? Did her grandma inherit it? Yeah. Did her grandma inherit it from her mom? Did her great grandmother inherit it? Yeah. From her mom. Did her great great grandmother inherit it? Yeah. Does this go back more than 20 generations, more than 50 generations, more than 100? Okay, so you saw if you watched the video, I hope you saw my finger. My finger went down when I got to 100, so it's somewhere between 50 and 100. I don't need to find the exact number. Uh, do we need to show anything more about it? No. Um, does she have more than one we can release? More than 100, more than 1,000, more than a million, more than a billion? So the billion. Before I even said the word, it already went down because my body knew what I was going to say. Um, somewhere in a million or more. It's, a lot of times on my healing calls, I get a higher number than I get with my private clients. And that's because all the people listening in now and listening in on the video in the future and people listening to the replay on the program are all uh, probably coming in on this number because there's no time or space uh, distance in healing. There's no... We're working on people in the future, in the past, in the present, and all over the place because we're infinite beings and all multi-dimensional travel. Um, can we release them all now? Yeah, releasing all these from her and everyone else who's listening in or who will be listening in that are, these millions are from, are going to. Is all this conflict gone yet? Does she have any other ones? No. Anything else about that? No. Did you notice the creepy crawly going a little bit down? Yeah, it went down a little bit, yes. Good. Okay, so keep taking the... Is there something else she can be taking or something else she can... No, just keep up doing that and keep calling in. We're going to get through this. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, let's go with... Uh, starting with a 9240... Or ending with a 9240. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tim. This is Rhonda. Help me, Rhonda. Good. Okay. So what's one issue you want to work on today? Uh, my, my skin's acting up again, and, you know, of course, I'm healing my broken ankle, too. Okay. Should I work on her ankle first? Yeah. Okay. And how... I know you had the broken ankle recently. Um, how was... On the other calls I worked on you, the issues you worked on, I worked on, how did everything... Did things get better? Yeah, always. Always, always good. Okay. So... Her ankle, there's still some uh, trapped, it's called, I forget the name of it, I'm thinking of it, but anyway, it's trapped energy, so can I just release it? Yeah, and I'll think of it once I release it. Releasing it all from her body, mind, spirit, energy system, and wherever else it might be. It's trauma energy, so just that physical trauma energy. Um, any other, th no, anything else that would help it heal faster? Yeah, trapped emotions, okay. So anytime you break or sprain or something, According to Dr. Bradley Nelson, and this is a course of judgment and a conclusion, which I said I don't do. <laughs> so, <laughs> he believes that anywhere you break your bone or do some sprain or something, there's always, that area is more susceptible to break or sprain because there's already stuff trapped there, which is probably true. But uh, anyway, so your body says there's trapped emotions there of confusion. Do we need to worry more about it? Share more than one, more than a hundred, more than a thousand, more than a million. These thousands of trapped emotions of confusion can release them all at the same time. Yeah, do we need to release them all from her body, mind, spirit, energy system, and wherever else they might be? Is this all gone? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Anything else about that? No. What was the, besides the sprained ankle, you told me one other issue and I forgot what it is. My skin is acting up again. Okay. On my face and my neck. Okay. Chest. And on a level of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst you can possibly ever imagine it being, what would you say the level is now? Probably a six. Okay. And um, Rhonda, is there some underlying reason why she has a skin issue? Yeah. And I had a skin issue last two weeks ago, and it went away in three days, and then all my skin peeled off. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. 
Okay. Um, she has trapped emotions of overjoy. Do we need to think more about it? She has more than one, more than a hundred, more than a thousand, more than a million. These thousands of trapped emotions of overjoy can release them all at the same time. Yeah, do we need to think more about it? all these from her body, mind, spirit, energy system, and wherever else it may be. These are all gone. Yeah, does she have any other ones? No. Anything else on the body code chart or another healing modality body code? Okay. She has mold too. Do we need to think more about it now? Can I release all the mold? Yeah, release all this mold from her body, mind, spirit, energy system, and wherever else she has mold. Is this all gone? Any other pathogens? No. Does she have anything else? Yeah, toxins. It's heavy metals. And it's aluminum. Do we need to think more about it now? Can we just release it all? Does she need anything for cleansing aluminum? No. Or any other heavy metals? No. Okay, releasing all this aluminum from her mind, body, spirit, energy system, and wherever else she has this. Is this all gone? Okay, anything? No. Did you notice your skin? Sh you probably don't notice it right away, but sometimes you do. Um, did you notice any shift in what your skin's feeling like right now? I do. Oh, good. It is feeling better. Just give yourself a number because it's good to assign a number. Your, your brain works better that way. So, it was six. What would you say it is now? Probably about a three. Oh, good. Okay. So, is there some, probably with the rest of the call and drinking more water, it'll probably go down and let's hope. So just stay on the line and we're going to see what else happens in the other callers. Thank you. Thank you, Rhonda. Bye-bye. Okay. Let's go. And I'm really happy I got a new uh, internet connection so I should never get cut off again and it should be very clear I'm calling in on uh, Skype. Next time I'm going to try calling in on the switchboard number and see if that works better than last week when I was on the old Wi-Fi internet service that was getting worse and worse. Okay, so we're going to go with this person starting in, my body says to start with this one, are ending with a 7945. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Dan, this is Charles in California. Good, Charles, okay. I'm getting an echo, so I'm going to, after I get your issue, I'm going to put you on mute. What's the issue you want to work on? Okay, so um, things are really opening up for me. I think I'm getting a little some toxins or something. I'm getting a rash around the neck. Okay. So, um, yeah, check that out. Okay, rash around the neck. Okay. One moment, let me put you on mute. Okay, my name is Charles in Alameda. Is there some underlying reason for this rash? Yeah, does this belong to him? No. Okay. Um, can we send back whatever he's picking up from everyone else? Yeah. And from animals. And from the earth. And from other things. I don't even know how to define. Okay, so everywhere he's picking up from things and people. And it's from other time zones. Okay, other... You've picked this up in the past and it's just coming to the surface. Okay, so can we send all this back? Yeah. And for everyone on the call, everything they're picking up that's not theirs, we're sending all back. Okay, right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pot and pox, shorts, boys. We're transmuting it, sending it all back with full awareness. So it resolves in the other people and other things and other animals that are having these issues. They just need the awareness to not stop doing the unconsciousness they're doing that's causing the issue. Okay, or the... I shouldn't say causing the issue. It's uh, manifesting or actualizing some false issue that seems real. Okay. Anything else about that? No. Should I do something else for Charles? Yeah. Okay. So he's... His body says do the access clearing. So we're going to do it for everybody. Um... I just put up the four hour plus audio on my Facebook, which is the 40 something pages of access clearings, that, which I wrote most of. And I also rewrote ones from other access facilitators who came on my show or other access calls I listened to. And I wrote them for specifically for my clients over the last few years. So you can now listen to the whole four and a half hours and I'm gonna next put up the sleep version. I was doing it for a donation to the show, but I didn't get enough donations, so I just decided to forget it and put it for everyone on Facebook, on a, not Facebook, on a YouTube. Okay, so here it is. Access Consciousness Clearing. Where did it go? Access Clearing. Okay. Doc. On this one. Okay, everything's in black on my, my new computer, because I, I downloaded Windows 10 or got it for free and it uh, 
I pushed something, I forget what the, the feature was, but I don't know how to get out of it. So everything in my screen is black now with white writing and... Anyway. Okay, it's this one. Okay. Um, I think I wrote this one. What... I'm going to unmute you just for you to say yes on this one. Okay, so, so here we go. Whoops. I'm going to turn down while I do that. Okay, so you're going to say yes loud so we can hear because I turned down. Um, what fantasies and insanities about living in a virtual vibrational reality of polarity are you making more real than the unadulterated awareness that for every idea your cognitive mind can construct or purchase, there is an equal and opposite polar reality that is just as true as your side of the coin? Everything that brings up and everything that is, times a Buddha zillion, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pot and pock, shorts, boys and beyond. Do we need to run any other ones? No. Okay. So, Charles, that's all for today. I forgot, what were we... Oh, yeah, your rash. Did you notice any shift in your skin? You might notice it later. Who knows? Uh, I've been constantly shifting. Okay, so hopefully it'll just go away. Just let us know. All right, thanks a lot, Charles. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay, and I'm thinking the person on 11111 is Rose, because it's usually always Rose, so let's see. Rose, if it's you, how are you doing? Okay, good. We haven't heard you in a while. How have you been? Yeah, the lower back is getting uh, definitely better. I'm, I'm glad. Oh, good. Um, what is still there is um, the, the lump on top of the, the right um, buttock, sort of, and this constant moving in my um, gum on the right side. Okay. So let me ask what your body... Your body wants to work on the gum issue first, so I'm going to turn you down because uh, I'll get a feedback so I'm just instead of muting you I'm going to turn you way down while I do this okay so let's see my name is Rose this gum issue is it she has a mercury toxicity yeah do we need to know more about it no can I just release all the mercury toxicity yeah we like releasing all this from her body mind spirit energy system and wherever else she might have it is this all gone yeah okay um, most people get mercury in their mouth from fillings, but your body says it's not from fillings, so maybe it's from something you ate, or maybe it is from fillings, I don't know. But anyway, your body says there's also pathogens of mold. Is this affecting our gums too? Yeah, do we need something more about it? Now, can I release all the mold? Yeah, I release it all from our body, mind, spirit, energy system, and whatever else. Yeah, the mold. Is this all gone? Yeah. Any other? No. Anything else in the... No. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where did my volume go? Or here, I know where it is. Okay, so Rose, what was... I, I got the gum issue. You said the other one was a bump. Sorry? Okay, what was the second... The second the issue of the bump, what was that again? Uh, yes, it feels like, I don't know, like a fat accumulation, like, like a little lump okay. on top of my right buttocks or sacrum. Okay. Okay, that's what I'll work on. Okay, your body says I can work on that. So let me turn you down and then... Okay, it's not pathogens. Is it another healing wood? I know it's energy. Okay. It's allergies and intolerances or offenses. It's an idea or thought allergy. Do we need something more about it? No, does she have more than one, more than a hundred, more than a thousand, more than a million, more than a billion? As I said for the before, these millions that I just got might be other callers. So we usually get a higher number on the radio program than I get privately. Um, all these thought or ideologies that she has and anyone else has that's listening to the show now or might listen in the future, um, can we release them from everybody? Yeah, do we need to worry about any of them? No, releasing all these thought or ideologies that everybody has and she has and anything else contributing to this lump there or any of the other issues she said at the beginning and I couldn't remember what she said. Whatever her body's using to hold it all back from coming to the surface right now so we can clear it all, we destroy and create everything that is and everything that brings up times of Buddha zillion. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pot and pox, shorts, boys and beyonds. Okay. Toxins. Okay, she has some dental toxicity. She has cavitation. Cavitation, um, usually doctors, uh, dentists can't find cavitation. Um, 
according to what Dr. Bradley Nelson says here on the charts, but it's some kind of anaerobic bacterial organism and it produces very powerful toxins, but it could be encapsulated in pockets in dead bone or any other area of the body, uh, in the mouth usually. So, can we release all this cavitation? Yeah, do we need to think more about it? Releasing all this cavitation in her body, mind, spirit, energy system, and wherever else she has cavitation. Is this all gone yet? Does she have any other dental toxicity or anything else we need to work on? No. Okay. So, Rose, did you notice a shift in any of the areas you were first asking about now, yet? Okay, that's fine. So just let us know on the next show. Sometimes it takes a while for you to notice things. And just drink a lot of water. And thanks for calling in again. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so we have... Bye-bye. We have a few other callers that didn't raise their hand. Let me just write down, make sure I wrote down everyone's number. Um, okay, so I'm going to go... If there's any other people listening in, just call 1-646-929-2015, or you could... Uh, Spell it out, one oh my axe, 2015. This is the year, 2015. I'm axing away all the difficulties that have holding me back and all the callers back from their unlimited potential. This is the year I'm getting out of Japan. Um, I've been here too long. And uh, so, since I have no other people raising their hand, and I'm making a video for YouTube, I'm going to show people how I can work on myself. Hi, YouTube people. Um, and then if someone else raises their hand, I might help them, or I might just go raise hands from, uh, we'll see. Anyway, let's work on myself, because it'll probably bring up issues in every other person on the call. So, is there anything else? My name's Tim. Is there something that I can work on to get this, this radio program going international and uh, being syndicated on many radio stations and TV stations, and, or uh, getting myself on the road? and performing and doing live healings in other countries and anything else holding me back from all that it's pathogens okay these are parasites are they physical no they're energetic parasites so I believe energetic parasites are what everything that limits us as an infinite being that access consciousness talks about which are all projections, expectations, judgments, conclusions, computations, linearities, concentricities, form, structure, significance all those things, and you can call them a million different things, but anyway, those are all energetic parasites. And those are probably holding everyone back, not only me and everyone else on the call, so I'm going to release that from everybody. Their thousands, their millions, or their billions, or their trillions, or their quadrillions, or their quintillions, or their sextillions, septillion, octillion, novillion. Okay, octillion, which is a big, big number I can't even put on a calculator. Okay, so these octillion are more energetic parasites that I have and everyone else on the call has and anyone else listening in the future has. Can we release them all at the same time? Yeah, do we need to know anything more about any of them? Now, releasing all these energetic parasites from everyone on the planet and everyone else in the multiverse that has anything like this that's holding them back from being the infinite being they truly be. Is this all gone yet? Anything else we need to do about that? Or No, should I keep working on myself? No, go back to the switchboard. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to pick up on someone that hasn't raised their hand and see if they want to be helped. If they don't, don't say their name. Um, if you do want to be helped and your number ends with the 8-6, just say your name. If you don't want to be helped, don't say your name. Okay. Oh. Oh, yes. Hi, Tim. Hi. I don't know. Is it 8-6? Yeah. Yeah. Zero, eight, six. Cool. Uh, I don't know. You, pick, uh, you picked up on... Perfect. <laughs> Okay, I just, you cut out when you were saying the last part of the sentence, so say that again. Oh, I forgot how to raise, I forgot how to raise my hand, and so I was, I was telling you, oh, pick me. <laughs> Good, you sent me a message. <laughs> I, I like being psychic, too. Yep. Okay, so what's one issue you want to work on today? Uh, let's see, uh, I'd like to work, um, uh, just, um, clear my chakras and be grounded. Okay. For some reason lately that the word grounded, my whole body gets all kinds of funky with that. So I know that's the catchphrase okay. for all the healing modalities and everyone thinks it's great and everything. But tr uh -huh. 
truth as an infinite okay, being. Sir, I think that... It's okay. Fine. So truth as an infinite being, can you ever be fully grounded? <laughs> what what if you were like the ocean? Can the ocean ever be like calm? It's just like this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway okay so whatever she's thinking that'll help her with this can I help her yeah so I'm not gonna call it grounded but anyway whatever you think it's it's uh, trapped emotions okay <clears throat> and I, I, I made a joke out of it and I said to one of the callers that I used to get grounded when I was bad and my mom would send me to my room but I knew she didn't mean that and she thought I would I meant that but anyway it was a joke um, but this is hopelessness. Do we need to worry more about it? She had more than one, more than a hundred, more than a thousand, more than a million. These thousands of trapped emotions of hopelessness can release it all at the same time. Yeah, do we need to worry more? We should release from her body, mind, spirit, energy system, and wherever else it might be. And all definitions are limitations, so it depends on your definition of what grounded means. And my, my definition, obviously, might not be your defini definition. And every definition is a limitation, so it doesn't matter. I'm using a different word, or you're using a different word. It doesn't matter. So this hopelessness, is this all going in? Does she have any other? No. Any other? Okay. She has a trapped emotion of forlorn. Do we need to worry more about it? She has more than one, more than a hundred, more than a thousand, more than a million, more than a billion, more than a trillion, more than a quadrillion, more than a quintillion, more than a sextillion, more than an octillion, more than a novillion, more than a decillion, more, more, ten times more than that, fifty times more than that, a thousand times more than that, a billion times more than that, a trillion times more than that, quadrillion times. <laughs> A trillion times uh, decillion. I, I couldn't think of Latin numbers higher than 10, so we got to dec... What, what, what is this trapped emotion? Forlorn. And that word... Forlorn, we, oh, okay. Yeah, we don't use that word much, so I had to look it up myself. I think it's, like, really uh, sad. Um, so this is not this is not you. It's everybody because that that number is too big for you to have. Well, maybe you're an infinite being. You can have all that, and you want if you're super infinite. But anyway, I'm sure it's everyone on the call and everyone listening to the call because I'm making a YouTube video, so everything's bigger today. Um, this uh, I don't even have a number for this Godzillion or Buddha zillion number of forlorn trapped emotions can release it from her and everyone else. Yeah, do we need to know anything more about it? And releasing all this from everyone on the call and everyone in the call in the future and anyone else that just happens to feel like being healed today who didn't even know I had a show. And they can be attracted to the show in the future. Okay, is this gone? Yeah. Anything else like that? No. Anything else for her overall health and happiness? No. Okay, let me... I'm running out of water. I always do that on the show. I don't know. I, th I, th I thought I brought a lot of water and it's, let me just try to take another drink. No, the rest is all ice. Okay, so if everyone else can drink on the uh, right now on the call, it would help me. Um, your body says that's all. I'm going to try to take the last caller, and maybe we're going to end at that. Uh, if not, I'll see if anyone's body calls me to call them back. So just send me, like Bhavna did, psychic messages if you think I need to come back to you. But anyway, your body's saying no right now. So thanks a lot, Bhavna. All right. Bye-bye. All right, thanks a lot. I would... Oops, I sorry, I, I cut you off in the last say say what you said again because I cut you off. Oh, uh, I, you're 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 always so serendipitous with your words. I was at the ocean last night.